Hundreds of Christians in Kaduna State under the auspices of Christian Solidarity Worldwide Nigeria have staged a peaceful protest calling on the government at all levels for the immediate release of Leah Sharibu and other abducted school children still in the custody of bandits and other terrorists in the northern region of the country. The convener of the group, Reverend Yunusa Madu, says the protest aimed to commemorate the 21st birthday of Leah Sharibu and to draw their attention of the government to the fact that the girl is still with her abductors seven years after she was kidnapped noting that orders were released, but she refused to denounce her faith, and that is why she's still held captive. Nigeria is ebbing out. Nigeria is dying. We are almost surrendering to insecurity and bandits, kidnappers, and all sorts of evil people in our land. It is time to stop. Our children must go to school. We must stay safe in our homes. Our homes are no longer safe. Our roads are no longer safe. Government must come to terms with what is happening in the country. Also, the Leadership Christian Association of Nigeria says the government must rise to its primary responsibility of securing its citizens. It is the primary thing for the government to protect lives and citizenry. Therefore, we are calling on the federal government to please expedite actions on the release of Leah Sharibu. Not only Leah Sharibu, but every other person that is held in captivity. Nigeria is a peaceful country. Therefore, we will not allow any strangers to come back to Nigeria and destroy our country for us. Freedom for Lily and Daniel. We don't for Lily and Daniel. We don't for Lily and Daniel. We don't for Alice and Gada. We don't for the 16 kidnapping of Ingora. We don't for everyone in captivity. While some of the Christian community says children must go to school and stay safe in their homes, saying roads are no longer safe for Nigerians, noting that they voted for security not in security. In the afternoon, you are afraid to travel. Why? Because you can easily be kidnapped. In the evening, we're in our houses. We can easily be kidnapped. Before, when we're growing up, when we're tired, when we're sick of the city, what do we do? We run to the village. Now we have the village, villagers running to the cities. You know why? Because the cities are no more secure. 